Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is so good to see you again. If you're new here, my name is Katerina and I'm your English teacher from Canada. In this week's lesson, I will answer a question from one of my students. Take a look at this sentence. I am going to the movies. My student read the question and said, oh, I can change going to to gonna, right? Look at the sentence carefully and tell me what you think. If you answered no, you are correct. If you answered yes, I am so sorry you are incorrect. Stay until the end of this video to understand why. is gonna. Firstly, gonna is a reduction of going to. It is used in informal speech, in conversations. To use gonna effectively and correctly, you need to understand its different meanings and how it fits into different sentence structures. So the first use of gonna is to talk about future plans or intentions. Remember, gonna is a reduction of going to, and going to can be used to talk about future plans. Here are some examples. I am going to study for my exam tomorrow. She is going to visit her grandparents next weekend. We are going to watch a movie tonight. These sentences follow the structure subject plus be plus going to plus the base form of the verb. So in informal and casual conversation, what happens is the subject and be become a contraction. I am becomes I'm, she is, she's, we are, were. And going to is reduced to gonna. Now read our informal examples. I'm gonna study for my exam tomorrow. She's gonna visit her grandparents next weekend. We're gonna watch a movie tonight. The second use of going to is to make predictions based on evidence or observations. Here, we can also reduce going to to gonna. Let's look at a few examples. It looks like it is going to rain soon. He missed his train. He is going to be late if he does not hurry up. To make these sentences informal, I will use contractions. It is becomes its. He is becomes he's, does not, doesn't. And of course, I will reduce going to to gonna. It looks like it's gonna rain soon. It looks like it's gonna rain soon. He missed his train. He's gonna be late if he doesn't hurry up. He missed his train. He's gonna be late if he doesn't hurry up. And remember guys, gonna is a reduction that happens in speech specifically. So please don't use it in your formal writing. Like don't use it in a work email or a college paper or essay. So let's go back to the sentence from the beginning of this lesson. I am going to the movies. Can I change going to to gonna? If you answered no, you are correct, but let's understand why. We cannot because this sentence uses the present continuous tense. It follows the structure subject plus be plus ing verb. What might cause the confusion here is that the main verb that's really expressing the action is go. So how could you say this sentence? Um, in the future with the help of going to. Remember our structure, subject plus be plus going to 
plus the base form of the verb. I am going to go to the movies. I know it can sound a little strange saying going to go. It's a little repetitive, but I assure you it's correct. It can be made informal in conversation with the help of contractions and a reduction. I am becomes I'm. Going to becomes gonna. Go is the base form of our verb and to the movies is our prepositional phrase which indicates where this person is going. I'm gonna go to the movies. I'm gonna go to the movies. Emma is going to go to the lecture this evening. Emma's gonna go to the lecture this evening. Emma's gonna go to the lecture this evening. This concludes our lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching. This week's video was inspired by a question from one of my students. If you have a specific question you would like me to answer, please send me an email and I would be so happy to make that video for you. If you have this question, it's very likely that many other students have the same question too. So let's all learn together in our community here. Uh, thank you so much for watching guys and I can't wait to see you next Friday. Bye!